minds and imaginations and thoughts, dreams and visions, join, hearts join, giftings and mantles and anointings and callings, join together on this holy grounds to consecrate these holy grounds to consecrate and to set apart this house the poorest house not as another church not as another building for gathering and for spiritual indulgence but we come from every Every tongue and tribe, kindling, and nation and people from the face of the earth. We have come from distant shores. We have come by air, we have come by land, and some have come by water to be gathered in this place for this historic event. We are not just consecrating a building. But we are consecrating a revival center. We are consecrating a place out of it shall go forth the end time anointings and end time commissions and end time revival. Oh, thou that answers prayer, bow your ears, attend and hearken. We do petition and we do pray and we do intercede in this consecration prayer that out of these grounds shall go forth from the loins of the said man of this house apostles for the end time anointings, prophets for the end time revival, pastors for the end time revival teachers for the end time revival evangelists for the end time revival let them come forth out of the loins of this house that will shake nations and will change our world to show to the principalities and the powers and the thrones and the dominions of our days that God has a breed and a people and a remnant in the land that cannot be stopped. So we consecrate the sad man of this house, the first lady, your man servant, Bishop Thomas DJ, that out of the abundance of his heart shall come forth End times mysteries that will scatter in confusion the wisdom tables of the enemy. Open up new gates of rivers out of the rivers within him. Lord, we have heard deaths, but bring fresh deaths out of your man as we consecrate these grounds. We consecrate this place today that it shall be exalted above all the hills of the mountains of the Lord upon the nations of the earth. Let his voice and the voice of this house become a prophetic voice. Everybody lift up your hands please. Let this place become a prophetic house and a prophetic voice that out of this place shall go forth the law and the prophetic word to give directions to political leaders and to the nations of our world. We consecrate this house for sign. We consecrate this house for miracles. We consecrate this house for wonders. Make this house a wonder, a sign and a miracle to our world. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Hey! Let the heavens lift up themselves now. Let mantles fall. Let new anointings come. As never before. Jesus. Jesus. Do it loud. Keep your hands up, please. Keep it up. Don't put it down. Keep it up. And now. We stand 
by that which was determined in eternity in the archives before time to declare the prophetic word now Satan hear ye the word of the Lord it is written to subvert a man in his thoughts appointed by heaven the Lord permitted it not the Lord approved it not and therefore we declare that there shall be no sabotaging nor subverting of the man of this house in his thoughts he will run his race he will finish his thoughts in the name of he who died and laid in the grave and arose triumphant on the third day we speak finally into play Ides. We speak to the oracles of Aturos, to the decisions of Orion and Mazarot, to the zodiacs, and we declare, get yourself and be broken in pieces. Assemble yourself from the east, north, south, and west and be broken in pieces. Take your counsels in the regions of the sea and it shall come to naught. Speak your word against this house and it shall not stand for God is with us. Shine with a shout of triumph.